Hello everyone, welcome to Python login tutorial. Logging is a standard library. We can use Python logging to help develop a better understanding of the flow of a program. It tests the state of the program. Also, we can use logging for debug errors and we can use login data to analyze the performance of our application. There are five standard levels which indicate the severity of events. The order of increase in severity is debug, info, warning, error and critical. We should import the login library first and we can use these severity levels as we need. The default output looks like severity level separated with the colon then the name of the logger colon and the message. Severity levels are these five levels. Name of the logger is root in default. We can change if we want and the message is what we specify. The output may include timestamp, line numbers and many more if we want. Okay, so first we need to import our login library. Like this we can use our debug level and we can specify a message. This way we can specify our severity levels like debug, info, warning, error or critical and then we can try it out. As you can see in the output, it is outputting severity level warning and the user root and the message like that we can see error critical but you can see that first two like debugging and info is not specified there this is because defaultly severity level is considered from the warning level we can change that if we want here are some of the common parameters that we can use to configure logging in python login.basic-config method can be used with first level parameter which indicates severity level file name parameter to indicate where to save Instead of outputting to console, we can save logs to a file. File mode parameter which indicate whether to write the whole file again or append to existing log. And format parameter which formats the output in the strings as name of the logger first, then save it level second and third the message. We can format the output further by adding different information like Maybe we can add date and time to indicate the time of the creation of our logs. Also, we can further format our date with date fmt attribute. Or maybe we can add the process ID like this. Let's try them out. Okay, so first what we can do here is we can use the login.basic config method and write it as we want. We can specify the level like level equals login.debug. Then we can specify a file name like file name equals maybe log file dot log which will create the file first then write to it as you can see there's no file in here then we can specify the file mode like this which is to write or open we can choose write then we can format the output like then the severity level okay then let's try it out right you can see the output if we use append here like this it will append the next output when you run it again let's try it okay let's save and run it again as you can see it has appended okay further we can format our output in other ways maybe format with date time here first date and time then our message and then our login level let's save and run it again now since we have not specified to write to log file it is output in our console also you can see since we have specified the level is from info the debug is not here all right, we can further format our date and time like this with date FMT attribute. We can specify date first, then the month, then the year, then hour, minutes, and seconds. Let's save and write again. Right now, you can see the format has changed in our date and time. Furthermore, we can add the process ID and level name to this. And let's save and try it again. Okay, so as you can see in the output, the date and time format as we formatted, then our process ID, then the severity level, and then our message in the output. Now let's talk about logging variables. We can use variables within our log message. We can use methods like below. 
we can use a variable within a string or we can use a f string to show variable values also how to capture struct traces with logic we can capture exception information if exec info is used as true if it is not true then there's no information on exception also we can use an exception handler easily okay let's create a variable called person and give it a name like jessica here and then we can use our variable within our string like this also we can try the other method with an f like this okay let's save and run it okay you can now see that a person's name is present here in every message now let's see how to capture stack traces we can declare two variables like x and y like this and let's try how division by zero exception can be handled with logs we can write a try block exception as a and we can log it for fun we can insert our person's name let's try it first we can see in the output there's zero division error division by zero okay let's try this again with exec info as false as you can see if we make exec info false there's no detailed error message here. or we can use the exception handler like this you can use it like login dot exception exception occurred let's try the output okay as we can see output here there are classes and functions used in python logging below are some of the commonly used classes defined in logging first one is logger this class's object is used in the application code to call functions second one is log record loggers automatically create log record objects which consist of name of the logger the function the line number the message etc handlers send log records to output destination console or file there are handlers some of the handlers are stream handler file handler smtp handler and http handler also there's a formatter class which format the output specify a string format here you can see our python file i'm going to create two other python files here first one is main.py and the second one is person.py so what i'm going to do here is use these loggers and formatters to create different kind of outputs let's import logging then we can specify the logger and this is the default way we can use then we can set the severity level then we can use a formatter to format our outputs let's use the format like this date and time then the name of the logger then severity level and the message then we can add the file handler and specify where our output goes then we can set the formatter for our file handler then we can add our file handler to the logger finally we can specify our output messages since this is a person file let's create a person we can name him henry and we can use our output messages like we can use the debug level here we need to specify it is the logger not the logging logger.debug we are using a string called person and just our message all right let's save it first now it will create a log file called person.log as you can see there's no log file here currently once we run it you can see it is created here and that's logs as we specify we have specified date and time first then the logger name then severity level and then the message like that you can see date and time logger name severity level and the message let's create the main file first we can import logging then we can specify the logger then we can specify the severity level for our logger we can specify our output format here let's use something different from our person file we are using the name first then the unit level then the message here we used date and time first here we are not using date and time then now file handler since this is the main file we can specify the log file as main.log then we can set our formatter for our file handler then we can add our severity levels and output messages like this let's add others okay we have specified the severity level to info maybe we can try debug if we want and let's save and run it when we run it it should create a main.log file as you can see there's no main.log file here it will create it and output the logs let's run it you can see main.log is here and we can see logger then the severity level then the message as we specified here name of the logger then the severity level then the message since now we have added the file handler we can add the stream handler too maybe we can 
add the second format and specify a different format maybe just the level of severity and the message then a stream handler like this then we need to set the formatter for our stream handler we can use our second formatter we can then add the handler for our stream handler maybe we can customize the severity level to output here it is specified here as debug but we can specify the output stream in a separate way maybe we can use critical so now what happens is in the main node log also it will output a stream to our console here let's save and try it is better to leave this bracket alone okay as you can see the output is only critical with the severity level and the message as we specified the severity level and message and the level is critical so let's go and see the main log here you can see it is appended other logs if we edit the output here to maybe debug level let's save and run it output is changed and there are more pros in main.log file now what we can do here is we can import our person file here and let's see how the outputs work first we need to delete these log files now you can see there are only python files there are no log files here we are not going to run the person file separately we are going to run the main file only since it is imported here it will run both the files and create both the log files as you can see the minute we run the code we can see our stream output here as specified in this code and there are two log files created main.log file and the person.log file so in the person.log file you can see the person is the logger which is the file name and in the main.log file you can see it is logger is the main also we can add login details from a separate file for that we need to create a separate file let's create it main.conf a conf file and here we can add our code so what's specified here is there's a logger called root and there's a handler called s handler which is custom name that we give and there's a formatter called my formatter which is our formatter's name then there's a root logger and the level of severity is debug and the handler is s handler as we specified here then our s handler is using the class of stream handler which is output in the console then the level of severity critical formatter is my formatter and its output level is sys.std out then we create the formatter here our my formatter formatter specifies the process id then the date and time then the name then the level of severity and the message we can save the file then we need to add this file to a separate python program so let's create another python program let's call it test config first we need to import login then we need to import login.config now we need to tell the program to add the config file first we need to tell the program to import the main.config file then we are disabling the existing logger because we have a logger in our config file then we specify the logger then our output messages so these output messages will be outputted in the format of this first the process id then the time then the name of the logger then the severity level then the message okay let's save and try it as you can see it is outputting the process id then the date and time and the logger and the severity level then the message it is only outputting the critical message because we have specified that the level of severity here in critical so we can try it by changing let's maybe add the debug and let's save it and run it so you can see we can use a separate config file like that okay that's all for today thank you for watching